In this very short video, I will answer a very obvious question. Why is there an acoustic scores in an engineering curriculum? There will be essentially three reasons, three interconnected reasons why it's important for engineers to know the basics of acoustics. The first reason is that we all consider noise to be an annoyance. We don't like to hear the dishwasher when we watch a movie on TV. We don't like to be flown over by a noisy aircraft when we have a barbecue in the garden with friends. And we all consider uh, problematic to have a noisy neighbor. Um, and as engineers, we are more and more concerned with the environmental impact of our products and processes. And therefore, we have to understand how noise is produced, how it propagates, how it is perceived, and how it can be mitigated. The second reason is very much related, is that as engineers, most of us are going to work in companies that try to sell something, a product or a service, and uh, we have to make that product or that service attractive. And more and more, the acoustic performance of a product is a marketing uh, criteria. And for instance, you see in this picture taken from a French uh, website uh, promoting vacuum cleaner, that the noise made by the vacuum cleaner is indicated as one key element in the description of, of the vacuum cleaner. And within a certain price range, customers are likely to choose the vacuum cleaner that is that has the best acoustic performance, meaning that produce the least uh, noise. So it's very important now to control the acoustic performance of a product or a service because it's going to drive the behavior of our future uh, customers. Um, but even if for some reasons you don't want to make your product more silent, you like uh, noisy, very powerful cars, or you're just not concerned, well, somehow you will have to because uh, there are more and more norms and standards that define the maximum level that, of noise that can be produced in certain circumstances by a certain product. The picture that you see represents a, a car undergoing a pass-by noise test. The car is driven at a certain speed in a certain gear uh, at a certain distance from a microphone and if the noise that is measured is above the legal threshold, well, that's simple. The car is not allowed to drive on that country's uh, roads. So acoustics is important for those three interconnected reasons. But sometimes acoustics is, is even a key dimensioning factor. A good example of that is the Airbus A3, uh, A380, the, the largest civil aircraft in the world. Because of its size, because of the power of its engine, it was very likely to be a noisy aircraft. And people at Airbus knew that making the aircraft noisy would just kill it commercially and that they had to do a, a lot of engineering about it. And they managed to do it by taking acoustics as one of the key dimensioning factor from the beginning, they managed to make this huge aircraft, in fact, uh, rather silent and in line with the, and, and fulfilling the requirements of the most stringent uh, standards in European airports.